Afrimat next, manufactures cast concrete products, curbsides, that kind of thing. Sells ready mixed concrete as well. Two businesses, Lancaster and another one I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But in recent years, it's expanded into a related area of building supply equipment, and that's mines producing dolomites and clays and all that sort of thing for various customers. The dolomite, in fact, I think is used by the steel industry. Mm. Afrimat market cap 1.8 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 14, dividend yield of 2.6. But this is a Yo. success story, right? Yeah. I mean, listed at not a very appropriate time or advantageous time. No but has really been a star performer, I yeah. guess, for Nierden. Yeah, so and, uh, and uh, this year you see the sort of share price actually has accelerated this year, I think, as the whole strategic plan has come together and it's been delivered in excellent uh, results. I mean, their, their recent interims, uh, their hips were up, I think, 42%. Mm -hmm. uh, the sort of whole business coming together, the acquisitions have fallen into place nicely. They're sort of consolidating, as you mentioned, both the sort of a lot of the quarries, the, the, the sort of uh, building materials sector, um, yep. Uh, aggregates and then also some of these industrial sands business. Mm. I mean that's culminated in this uh, acquisition of 50% of Infrasource. Uh -huh. Aha, yes, that's good right, point. Yeah. Which is a competitor which had related dolomite and yes, other assets that's right, around yeah. the area. Okay. And I think what How's they that going? I mean is that uh, work in progress? The commentary, yeah, it's work in progress but <laughs> they're saying it's, it's going pretty well and I think you see... And they've got 50% right? So they've taken right. control, they've got yes. board control, they've yeah. pushed the other people out. That's okay. right, yeah. So, and as you can see they are excellent operators, they really know how to run mm. these quarries and mm. get, I guess, maximum efficiency out of it and find the markets yeah. for the product. So um, I think that's going to add to the business going forward. Infrasource always had good assets, I think very poorly sort of exploited and mm. obviously the, the, the Afrimat team I think can do a much better job. Well as a matter of interest we owned this one in the hot stocks yeah. portfolio when it was at 9 Rand 90 and I remember thinking well if they can get above uh, uh, 10 Rand then we'll have done well. So I think we sold mm. them with a meaningful gain okay. after a relatively short period, somewhere on that slope. Right. But look what they've done since then, cruised yeah. all the way through to 12. So at this level, still not concerned about valuations? You're still hot on it? No, I mean, it looks, uh, I think, given the sort of outlook and the potential for the infrasource contribution, uh, it, it still looks very promising and the cycle, as we've mentioned, so I'm hot. Good. Hot on that one, too. <laughs>